Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're talking about Georgia running back Elijah Holyfield in terms of his production analytics. If you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. Follow stuff out of the way. Let's get to his production data. So first off, Elijah Holyfield had a 28.85 uh, market share production score. Uh, he doesn't hit the all-pro threshold, the five-time Pro Bowl threshold, or even the three-time Pro Bowl threshold at the position. And of course, when you look at the averages at the position, nowhere near the all-pro average, nowhere near the Pro Bowl average, and nowhere near the starter average. Uh, ultimately, when it comes to Elijah Holyfield, I know a lot of people are going to bring up the Alvin Kamara uh, sort of point of, well, Alvin Kamara was below average productive, and look at him. But again, the vast majority of starting NFL running backs were above average running backs at the college level, um, if not 90% or more, uh, depending on the year uh, of those running backs typically are, were above average at the college level. So just because one guy breaks out doesn't mean that that, that means that that's the trend, that that's the new thing. Um, ultimately, that's going to be the big question mark of Elijah Holyfield. You know, he has to test fantastically as an athlete. I think even if he does test fantastic as an athlete, there's going to be a lot of question marks because of this production data. Now, does this mean that he can't be an NFL running back? No, he definitely has a chance to be a rotational player, which is what he was at Georgia. But if you're asking him to, to take on a major role at the NFL level, there's a lot of question marks here, and especially a role that's large enough to make him a Pro Bowl or All-Pro player. Um, ultimately, we'll see what happens with him, but that's just the, the general deal with a guy like this, is that his production was just not where it needs to be. He wasn't Nick Chubb level. Uh, he, he wasn't, uh, you know, any other sort of level you could think of as a Georgia running back, or Sonny Michelle even. Um, you know, those are the two guys that produced. Um, they shared a backfield, and they both were very productive and hit the marks that they needed to hit. Elijah Holyfield didn't do that, and that is why he's – one of the bigger question marks when it comes to the Georgia backfill. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification bell in case you want to be reminded when another video of mine drops. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.